Amen. All right, guys, let's do this. We're now live on Facebook. Hello, hello. Good morning, Ralph. Good morning, Shirley. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm very excited for today. I'm, I'm very excited as well. We are going to learn something that we can apply right away. And it's a, a little controversial nowadays, yes. this idea about productivity. But I think this is something that we can dig in deeper so that we can understand it better. So how are you nowadays, Pa Shirley? How are you productive at, at your home? What do you do? Well, actually, right now, it's really more of um, self-discovery. No, being I think me being productive doesn't mean that I have to generate income, but it's really more of productivity for me nowadays is really more of cultivating my relationship with mm. my kids, with my husband, and me also, and my relationship to God. So, kasi wow. this is very trying times, Ralph, lalo na kapag ka you have a lot of kids, toddlers in the house, na parang they have a lot of energy, but they don't have any ener- uh, they don't have any activity to channel on their energy so you have to be creative talaga kung paano mo talaga tumiyan <laughs> gagawa ka talaga ng way on how can they be productive as well i like that but, surely when yeah. you say you're channeling your creative energy kasi that's true productivity is basically channeling your energy so that you can apply this into many works that you can do in a day yeah what yeah. else what else you were trying to say something Yeah, I mean, I was about to ask you, how about you? How about me? Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I'm uh, actually, actually, that's also the thing that I, uh, uh, that's my priority. Every day, I wanted that, that the day will count. Mm-hmm. That every day, uh, I get to do something to improve myself. Because mm-hmm. at least I get to focus rather than just, you know, um, lurking and uh, staying on one yeah. side. It's a big, you know, there's so many distractions nowadays. When you're stuck at home, really? there's so many distractions. Your phone is one, Netflix is one. Your and bed um, <laughs> the bed is one. The bed is one. Just a few centimeters away from me is my bed. Yeah. <laughs> so we have so many comfort zones. Yeah. So what should we do during this ECQ? And I am so excited because we are going to have two amazing individuals. Um, someone that I know, I, I know them very well. Uh, somehow, because of NBU, they are fellows in NBU, yes. and of course, they're also very productive individuals. So let me introduce them one by one. Sure. Uh, we have here Jay Jasmine. So he is an e-commerce entrepreneur, and he also has a number of um, different stores. He's joining us. He's also a motivational, you know, uh, thought leader. So I'm excited to have him today. Let's welcome Jay Jasmine. Hi, Jay, brother. So, glad to be here. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. Thank you very much for joining us. And Hi, next but not the least, we have here the CEO of ACAS Swimwear. And she's also a thought leader. Uh, she also shares her ideas on social media about productivity. And she's joining us today. I'm excited to have her. Um, another beautiful, another beautiful um, individual. Let's have, let's welcome, er- Erika Rodica. Hi, Erika. Hi. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. morning. Good morning. First of all, guys, how are you guys doing? Very, very, very good. Dami na na. Oh, I can see that. You're smiling. Pare, what kaya is the reason of your smile? <laughs> Joke lang. How about you, Erika? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited as well, guys. So this morning we're going to talk about productivity and yeah. and and uh, how can we make uh, how can we put colors in our days and how can we make every day count? Yeah. So my question for now, Shirley, uh, mm-hmm. to our you know, to our guest is, guys, what is your idea of productivity during this quarantine period? Let's start with you, Jay. So my idea for productivity during the quarantine period is to more on focus on the things that we tend to neglect in the past. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Um, the way I see productivity now is anything that we neglected, like, you know, for example, time with family, time for those, you know, other hobbies that we failed to try or we failed to, you know, even start. So those are the things that we can, you know, on the side do. Because life in general is about truly balance. Ang pangit naman kung 
ang side mo sobrang yun nga puro na lang pera 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 but at the end of the day would you actually really you know, magmamatter pa talaga lahat yun kung hindi na miss out mo naman yung ibang areas ng life mo like health relationships and other aspects so yun yung sa akin about productivity but it's not about actually being so productive during this quarantine period but at least at the same time just maging productive hindi naman maging hindi naman totally walang ginagawa pero at least let's create progress because mm-hmm. at the end of the day progress leads to happiness go surely hindi tama yun <laughs> progress Uh-oh. leads to happiness well, even if we're in quarantine we can still improve diba yeah. Progress, I, I yes, surely. Oh, and I think Ralph, no, parang ang ganda rin kasi ng point of view ni Jay in terms of productivity because um, some other people will think productivity as income generating. But this one, it's really more of uh, yeah, parang cultivating relationship to the family. So that's really one good point. Na pag sinabi natin productivity, hindi lang talaga siya nagbavary na kailangan mo lang talagang mag-hustle and mag-hustle. But it's yes. really more of um, getting your relationship more deeper to your family members. That's true. That's true. I like that very much. How about you, Erica? Yeah, I totally agree with what Jay said. Parang for me, productivity is more of a lifestyle. You know, you you apply it in all aspects of your life, not just in work. Parang di porket mm. um you're doing household chores, di ka na productive. <laughs> Kasi yeah. hindi yun work, de ba? In general, yeah. so, really, yeah. um, being productive is just. Being um effective and efficient with your time, whether yes. it's um household chores, whether it's work, whether mm-hmm. it's learning something new every day, and mm. syempre, yun na, uh, find you should always find the balance. Na chapter one thing is that um this quarantine, I guess, is making all of us realize is that um we get to focus more on the essentials. Eh. Right True. now, diba? Parang everything else na wala na wala na yung commute. Hindi <laughs> pala siya essential. <laughs> Masyado. So, yes, yes. Yun, yeah. And then, parang we realize now when we're stuck at home, especially with the ones na walang family around, diba? Parang the more we yearn for, I, I want pala relationships. Kailangan ko pala to talk to other people. So, yun. For me, productivity is a lifestyle in general. That's true. I like that very so much. Nice. That's um, nice. that's the thing about this quarantine, Shirley. No, is mm-hmm. that no one can sign out from this. Everybody, it's a global thing. It's a global trend. We're all stuck in our house, and now what we now the thing that we need to manage is our mindset. How do we look at productivity? That it's not only about work. Productivity is about going doing something out of your bed and actually making the day count. Guys, I want to ask this. Nihirapan ba kayo to cultivate productivity during these days? Mm. So, may temptations. Mm-hmm. Especially na very comforting yung kama. Comfortable <laughs> <laughs> yung sofa. Oo. Oh, oh. Ganun bagay. Pero, I think, yun yung parang maganda dun eh. Para siyang challenge din in a way. Paano mo kaya madiskartehan yung mga ganung klaseng obstacle sa araw mo, paano mo siya ayusin sa environment mo to the point na makagawa mo pa yung effectivity na gusto mong gawin. That's true. Naano ka rin ba bro? Um, marami ka pa rin. Ano ba yung mga distractions mo in a day? <laughs> ano? <laughs> Ikaw. Ano bang yung mga laging uh, ito talaga, we should be aware of this, ito, social yes. media. Ano ba yung oh. when, when nangyari yung first week of lockdown? Ano yung Uh, nangyari sa'yo na it's really distracting you from being productive? Mm, so, yung number one is, so, nawala ng, so, hindi na ako pumasok sa office, so, wala na ng tao, so, kailangan lang sa bahay lang ako. So, ang nangyari, katabi ko lang yung kama ko, or katabi ko lang yung couch. So, once na humiga na ako doon, once na, ano, parang nakakain siya ng time, and then sabay yes. na pa sa media. So, social media, once na nag-scroll ka doon, hindi mo na alam kung kakainin ka ba or hindi. Until ma-realize mo lang na, ah, okay, kailangan ko na lumabas. And of course, number three, food. Ang sarap kumain. Food. That's true. Ano, ngayon, I think lahat tayo, may mga memes nga na lumalabas, diba? Na 
um, kapag after yun ng ECQ, palakihan ng chan. Kasi oh, no. people are eating. It's hard to build a discipline when the food is there. Naubos na nga daw nila yung quarantine food nila in two days, in three days. So, <laughs> so sobrang daming distractions. I think we can all agree about that. So, Erica, you are aware of the distractions around you. What can we do kaya to start parang detaching ourselves from these distractions that are, these are healthy distractions somehow kasi di naman to, they're there. Eh. It's somehow, uh, it helps us be, be you know, uh, spend time. Pero what can we do kaya mga starting, ano, mga starting steps para for us to detach from them somehow? For me, really, um, one thing I did during the first week of lockdown uh, sinobrahan kong hindi unproductive. <laughs> so, oh, I guess parang oh, what I real did talk, was, real talk. Yeah, nag, parang nag-Netflix ako the, the entire time. Nag-social media ako the entire time. So, one week. And then, parang eventually, parang nasawa ako. Parang, yeah. I realized, is this the only thing that I want to do during this entire time? So, I guess in order to like get that out of my system, I did it na. Like, to the extreme. And so, then, miss ka sa sarili mo, di ba? Parang like, ah, ayoko na ganito. Para kung ano, parang pulit-ulit yeah. lang. Yeah. How, how do you feel about it, Erica? Like, the first week talaga nag-surge, nag-surge ka talaga with the Netflix, with your bed, and those stuff. Did you feel like parang guilty? Or parang, you feel parang it's okay? Uh, during that time, kasi I also don't know what to do. I was confused. Like, everybody, I think everybody's going through this right now. Like, it's so uncertain what will yeah. happen during this quarantine time. So, parang that time, I guess, that was my way of coping. Yeah. Kung paano, um, you know, okay, right now, ito muna gagawin ko kasi hindi ko pa alam anong gagawin ko. And then, eventually, parang once I released that na out of my system, I re- there came a point na I realized na I don't want to keep doing this the entire time. I didn't say totally eliminate. Yeah. But, like, there came to a point na I want to do something else rather than this. So I think in order for you guys to be able to apply these things that we'll share, that mm. but you should also want to be in that point. Yeah. And I think that's, that's very important, Erica. No? Hindi ka na pressure from the social media na, shit, sila, ang dami na nilang ginagawa to be productive. Samantalang ako nakahiga lang and parang napakawalang kwenta-kwenta ng mga ginagawa ko. I think what happened to you, it's really more of, alam mo yung nagkaroon ka na lang, parang what you've said, you just eliminated it, but you allow yourself to spurge into that kind of, ano, parang just, you know, doing nothing. Yeah. Right? Because, yeah. mm. diba, um, iba-iba naman eh, everybody yes, is different. I agree. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the first step, ano, yung disgust. Like, when you, re- when you realize, sayang na sayang ko yung the past few days, uh, for example, nothing bad talaga, nothing bad happened to you or your family. So right now, basically, just managing yourself. When you're disgusted of your routine, na, you know what, I can do better than this. Now, you are, so we, from that self-awareness, you can make a better decision to, you know what, I'll start improving my routine at least 1% every day. So that's what happened to you, Erica. I like it. And then I'm excited li- later, surely, you know, they're going mm-hmm. to share to us, itong dalawang to, ano to, because they're, they're productive individuals. They, and millennials, so marami sila mga alam na mga um, uh, strategies or life hacks on how to be productive. They will share that later on. Okay, na-excite ako. Na-excite ka ba, uh, Shirley? Oo. Actually, parang ngayon na. Charot. <laughs> before that, let's say hi muna to our viewers. Hi, Ayan. everyone. Thank you, so, for, thank you very mga, much for joining. Yeah, may nag-watch from Cavite. Hello to Ate Divine. Si Dane is also here watching with us. Hi, Dave, Her brother. Fernandez. Actually, may question na siya. How do you measure productivity? Though? But I think later on, we're gonna answer that. Or oh, you guys wanna answer it right now? Do you want to answer? <laughs> no. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Later on. Okay. Sorry nga pala, hindi natin alam. Actually, this is Bold Moments Live. Pero today, we're willing to make it COVID stupid live. Kidding! <laughs> <laughs> Moderator lang kami. It's Uh-oh. a dating so, show pala, everyone. How was it, no? Parang talagang we have a very good similarities. And I think we have in terms... Ay, talagang pinush! <laughs> Oh. So, yeah, and, ano, and also si, si ano, Master Nars is also watching all the way from CDO. Hello, Nars Paraguay. Hi, Nars. 
Okay, for everyone who's watching us, please go uh, sa comment section. Please tell us where you are right now and what you're doing right now. So, may isa nagsabi, I am watching this from my bed. So, natutuwa ah, naman ako doon. So nice. At least productive pa rin siya kasi she's still learning. Yes, that's true. That's true. Sige. Sorry for um, that. There is a question. What is your measure for productivity? Sige, for me. Yes, go Erica. <laughs> so for me, measure of productivity will depend on you. Because well, part of the things na I, I want to point out is that you should plan out your day. And then um, if you're able to take out the things that you're supposed to do in that day, I think that's one measure of productivity. Eh. Kasi sino ba magbibigay ng measure of productivity but yourself, right? Especially yes. right, right now. I mean, yes. kung at the work, yung boss mo, di ba, siya din naman nagbibigay sa'yo, ito kailangan magawin. One, two, three, four, five. So, that's from him as well kasi siya yung nagmamoderate. So, what I'm saying is lang, is the measure of productivity is whatever it is na nagagawa mo na you set out for yourself. Uh, I like that answer totally. kasi this is your own standard. You don't have to see someone else's to-do list mm -hmm. and then to measure yourself against their to-do list kasi I think that's unfair because mm -hmm. you have your own standard, you have okay. your own viewpoint of productivity. How about PJ? And to add to that, copy-paste yung sagot ko. Oh. Oh, supportive, oh, copy-paste. Copy-paste. <laughs> Heart, heart, Ralph. Oo. Uh, <laughs> okay. Despite kasi demo, I guess yung level of productivity ko would depend on how happy I am. And yun talaga yung pinag-alisan. Bakit natin pinag-try maging productive, right? Because at the end of the day, we just really want to be happy. We want to achieve a certain lifestyle, achieve a certain, you know, anything to be happy. And at the end of the day, if you are happy, you are productive. Ayun. What makes you happy? Jay, tanong ko, what makes you happy, bro? Ano ba yun? Para kanino ka gumigising? Or para kanino, saan ka? Sino ba pinaglalaban mo? Ayun. Oo. Daming tanong, bahala ka dyan. Interviewer na kami. Ayun muna, what makes you happy, Jay? Or who makes you happy? Or who? Pwede rin. What? Who? Where? Why? Pwede gusto namin sagot is who, though. <laughs> si Lord. Si Lord. Oh. Ako, God fearing, oh, good ano, uh, good quality naman. Totoo 'yan. Anyway, <laughs> I think Ralph, ano, uh, just to add lang din sinabi ni Eric kanina tsaka ni Jay, tama naman 'yun. Happiness talaga would release you some endorphins to really keep you going to be more productive. So That's I think true. yeah, uh, ang pinakamagandang highlight lang talaga doon is that you set with your own with your own pace kasi wala ka namang hinahabol, no. Siguro kaya parang feeling din natin ngayon kaya ang dami rin mga nagwawala ngayon sa Facebook na parang, di ba, yung mga an anong mga memes na rin yung lumalabas. Because I think it's really more of the pressure tayo kasi sa ginagawa ng ibang tao. But I guess That's true. You know, it's really up to you if you really wanted to do something or not. Kasi kung wala kang gagawin, just honor yourself and just rest. Kasi baka iba sa atin, parang 16 years na silang nagtatrabaho and because of this quarantine, they are now being required and obliged to rest. And that for them is being productive, right? Yeah. So there's no right and wrong. Staying at home, securing yourself from the virus is already in a win in itself. Yeah. So that is a good, I know, already, that is a good sign. And sa atin lang is, what can we do to make our days more colorful, meaningful, and productive? Ayan. So, ang next one question is, ano yung mga standards ninyo for the opposite one? Joke lang. Um, ang <laughs> question ko is, guys, so ngayon, you're going to share to us some hacks or some tips for us that we can do at home, that we can apply for us to become more productive. So, let's start with you, Erica. What are, ito last week, you did an, a podcast interview, di ba? And then, it was a lengthy one and you shared a lot. Can you share to us? Some ideas about how can we, you know, design our days to become more productive. I guess I will shorten. Yeah. So I guess number one is acknowledging what it is that's making you unproductive. So yeah, so make a list of everything. Na so if that's Netflix, if that's um social media, if that's um playing games, de ba? And then I'm, you can totally eliminate. Or you can set limits like one hour long 
or 30 minutes at a certain time. And then, um, I guess I'll highlight also is to plan. Always right. just plan your day, like set, uh, whether it's in the morning or before you go to sleep or once a week, parang na plan mo na yung buong araw mo. Para, because I, I also noticed with me, if I don't plan my days, parang I just end up not doing anything. Or like, I'll just think of, oh, gag- gagawin ko to later. Pero hindi talaga siya nakaschedule. So yung later ko nagiging tomorrow. <laughs> yung mga ganon. And then, um, also is to, um, whenever you do the tasks na, na, that you planned, you focus on one important task, which is whatever task you're doing at that moment. Because um, you can't be your best, you can't do your best if your brain is scattered. So if you focus Ooh. on one thing, you're more productive, you're less stressed, and at, at some point, you're creative ka pa on how you do that. And then also, um, have a space for you to work in. I know um, most of you here parang hasn't um, been working from home before. Parang it's a new experience to you. But for me, I, I've been doing this for five, six years already. So parang wow. it's not really new for me to work from home. So it's very, um, even if my sofa is there, okay lang. Um, but yun, but I think a good starting point would be to have a space a designated space for you to do your work or kung ano mang, um, if that's a chore you stay there or if it's reading a book if you have a nice um, chair by the window overlooking with your coffee diba? basta have a certain space where you'll do whatever it is that you need to do yeah. nice, uh, nice. And, uh, rundown oh and uh, have a system have a routine right because if we get to build that routine, parang it's gonna be eventually automatic na. Parang in the morning, you wake up, you make coffee, you read a book, you quiet time, ganyan, ganyan. And then by evening, you have dinner, la, la, la. So if you have your routine, if you do this all the time, every day, parang hindi na mag yung body mo on what else to do. And you get to stick to it more. That's true. That's true. I like that. Because um, that's good if you have when you have a system. Because you're actually intentionally designing your day. So, for example, ito, uh, I'll share this. You cannot. May rapit hindi na akong sulat. Pero this is what I look uh, at every morning. So nakata nakalagay dyan kasi dinadagdag dag ko siya. Thank God, clean bed, drink water, meditate. Ayan. So parang mayroon na akong so I look at it. So hindi niya so na kailangan ng willpower so the moment I wake up I know that to pray and yeah. then so by creating a system of your day then you get to improve your day that's not really about um, limiting your day it's about really respecting your day and yeah. para hindi ka naman isip ano gagawin mo diba mm-hmm. that's really good Erica how about you Jay okay so yung sa akin naman since na mention yung routine di ba most of the time people have morning routines yes a lot of people don't have night routines. And yun yung pinaka game changer para sa lahat. Wow! Uh, it, you wow. start your day right and then you also end your day right. Mm, okay. So, yung mga routine din ako on what to do, like ano mga wins ko, ano plan ko for the next day, ano lessons ko for the day na nakuha ko. And that just really, parang dagdag din talaga siya ng, ano mo, dagdag din talaga siya ng parang productivity. And then, may isa pa, which is, building yung uh, yung habit. So parang the more you have yung routine in place, the more it turns into a habit. And slowly, much slowly, magulat ka na lang na it becomes who you are after the 20th day, the 60th day, whatever day you say sa akin. Hindi natural na siya sa'yo. Uh, na-adapt mo na. It becomes your standard. Yeah. Who you are as a person. Ay, ano yung, ano mo, ano yung standards mo yun yung magiging results mo talaga in life. So, for example, yung standards ng iba, twice a week lang mag-gym. Diba? Naging habit nila na twice a week na sila mag-gym. Pero yung habit ko is five to six times mag-gym a week. Para sa iba, mahirap siya. Pero ako para sa akin, since sobrang programmed na utak ko, effortlessly na parang kailangan. 
ako ng katawan ko na mag-gym dahil sobrang program na sa akin, I have to do it no matter what. And then, yes. I love so, so, to, Go ahead, Jay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Love to put yung parang pressure. Kasi school bukol ako nung ano, yung high school grades. Buong, ano ko, buong school ko. Buong, school bukol talaga ako na <laughs> uh, magpapasa lang ako pagdating ng deadline. Magpapasa <laughs> Makuha ko yung parang habit na uh, the day before nang magpapasa ng exam or mag- Cramming! Oo. And you'll be surprised na the day before na yun, mas focused ka. Hmm. Mas, mas mag-work ka. memorize mo. Oo. Lahat ng bagay na sa, sa tingin mong hindi important at goodbye. So mag-focus ka lang sa isang bagay na yun. So relating sa mga magagawa natin in a day-to-day basis. For example, mag-schedule na natin yung kung anong gagawin natin work. We set a time limit. That's number one. Uh, for example, if you can finish it in 5 to 10 minutes, we have to put that little bit of pressure in ourselves. Na after matapos natin in 5 to 10 minutes, yes, that's all thing pat in the back. And then yung isa pa, charge ko lang yung laptop ko na 30%, 40%. Mm. Para sobrang focus talaga ako na ito yung tatapusin ko within the time limit. So it's always about oh. I'm training it into a game. So it's not Yes, really... interesting. Oh, oh. So you know ano And the other mindset, how can I squeeze in two days in one day? In yung mindset ko. It doesn't nice. mean go to work lang. It also means na how can I pa do the best exercise that I can? How can I do the best work that I can? How can I make the people that are important to me alam mo na, really be happy or parang mm-hmm. mo how can I fit two days in one day? I and like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Diba? Dalawa, dalawang araw, isang araw, yun yung pang mga pag-alas otso. May hinahabol si friend. May hinahabol si friend. <laughs> I, like, I like the, ano, ah, I like the, at the end of the day, parang you evaluate yourself. Yeah, reassess. Yes, assess. Para at least, mm. diba, oh, what can I do to improve? Yes, improve. that's agree. Uh-oh. Erika, I'll share to that. Ah. I'll share sa idea mo. Tama yan. I do a scoring by the end of the day. Uh, uh, so, oh, ang pangit talaga ng sulat ko. Sorry guys. Ha. Mukha siyang ano, And mukha pong man. bata. But at least <laughs> you judge. have. Oo. Oh, oh. So, ginagawa ko is, yung idea ko is, how can I get closer to the person I want to become? So, you have this model. So, ang idea ko talaga is, I don't want to share. It's a kind of secret. <laughs> But, you know, to be, you know, to be very, in the, in the guy I want to be. O yun na lang. Tapos niyan, I rate myself. Ten percent, ano ba? What percentage ba? So karamihan dito, ang average nito is 11%, percent, twelve percent. Ang layo. Pero nakikita ko nagi improve siya, fifteen percent. Kasi nakikita ko I'm applying what I'm. So I wanted to ano eh, to to see how I improved yeah. the past days. Mm. So giving yourself a scoring with no judgment, basically just a, a point, a benchmark for you to see what can you do today para at least maging better yung score mo yeah. for today. And I think it would, oh, oh, it would also help yeah. then if you want to, like, di ba, planning all this day, siguro if you put value also on what you are doing, like value in terms of, ano ba yung gusto kong value na i-work out today? Can I work out yeah. on my, on me being courageous? So, parang at the end of the day, pag tingin mo dun, ano yung ginawa kong mga, mga brave moves? Diba? Yes. And then tomorrow, yes. for example, I want to work on the value of honesty. I want to work on the value of integrity. So that's, well, feeling resource speaker, but you know, I just wanted to share. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> but that's one point. That's true. At least Uh-oh. focus somehow every day. Uh, and I'm also doing it kasi sa mga kids ko. Like parang anong values yung kailangan natin work out for today. So parang it's something also that you as an adult, Then also do it for practice. Tapos you have to, you know, be aware and just encourage yourself to do a lot more of that. Mm-mm. Yon. So before we go to our next True. question, Ralph, siguro okay, may... No, surely, ang dami na... Oo, ang dami nating mga questions dito ngayon. Oo, oh, oh, let's say, say hi to, again to them, guys. Oo, hi. say hi, guys. Ayan, so eto, ang sabi niya dito... Si Sir Nars, pero feeling ko parang nasagot na to ni Jay kanina. Baka pwede natin itanong to kay Erica. Sabi niya, hey guys, para kanino kayo bumabangon? <laughs> Ayan. Sige, si Jay kanina sabi niya kay Lord. O, ikaw daw, Erica. Bawal mag-copy-paste. Ang bawal. <laughs> Pwede naman. Pwede naman. 
my family. Yes, ayan, for her family. And then, next question is, eto, from Mark Justin Antonio, how are you coping now that our whole country is on ECQ? I'm coping now. I'm sorry. Ano ba? Ah, nakakakiling sila. <laughs> okay lang, ano. Ah, sige, ano mo na. Ladies first, go Erica. Yeah, I think right now, during the ECQ period, everything is so uncertain. Everything is so, you know, lahat tayo naghihintay, lahat tayo nagtatanong, what's next, ano na ba, when are we gonna be able to do this? But I guess, um, how I cope na lang right now is really to trust the Lord right mm. now. Kasi parang sobrang Very walang important. wala ka na rin. But you know, trust na after this, it's gonna be um over and we're gonna go through this really. And just, you know, have faith na um whatever work it is that the government is doing, hopefully it's towards getting past all of this yeah. really. Totally. And just trying to focus on what you can control. Kasi mm. what they're doing everything else outside of you, wala ka naman control over that. Eh. So, just for me is to really um, have faith and just control what you can. So, for me is to control on being a better version of myself. Yeah. So nice. That's true. I like it. Oh, oh, better version may, of herself. May tanong daw, ano? May tanong si Wilma uh, J. Interesting. Can, can you give an example Example, how do you do the things you should be doing in two days in just one day? Uh, in a short ano, in a short answer. Okay, I think it's okay. So, like, clap talaga si Bess. Next slide. Go. So, hindi ako naniniwala masyado sa willpower. Diba? Kasi pag may willpower tayo, parating yun tayo, okay, pipiriting ko na naman sarili ko, pipiriting ko na naman sarili ko. No, I don't do that. The first thing that I do when I wake up is kinukuha ko yung mahiwaga kong headphones. Ito talaga yung una kong ginagawa. And then, ang first thing na papakinggan ko, it's either pakikig ako sa, uh, sa Hillsong or sa Motivation. It's either one of those two. Pag, pag, basta parang ganun. So, yun yung first thing na ginagawa ko. And then, once na, may mo- once na you are in action, once na gumagalaw ka na, dun ka lang magkaka-motivation. Akala kasi ng mga tao yung motivation nangyayari siya before you do work or hinihintay siya bago mag-work. No, it actually happens when you're doing the work. So it's after. It's a result of doing work. So whenever I feel like nawawala na ako ng energy, mahiwagang headphones, kabit, makinig. So yun yung ano ko. And then the pressure, yung pressure tools ko. Timer, um, timer and yung battery parang sobrang baba talaga ng battery ko. So, I get to do a lot more focused work and after yun, parang I feel like I've really achieved something. That, that's true, no? Actually, maganda yung ginagawa niya na, for example, di ba, meron kang ano, deadline, tapos 20% na lang yung natira sa laptop mo. In mm-hmm. fairness, kaya natin habuli, ano yung dapat natin habuli. <laughs> in, in, in that 20% na natitira, pero kapag you have all the time, parang minamamaya mo. So, that's a good strategy, ha? Uh, pero baka lang masira yung ating battery yun lang yung problema pero <laughs> that's a good idea what else Jay? Um, maybe a last man no? sorry, last I'll connect something nabing... sorry, I'll connect Go something Erica. Oh, oh, oh. parang I, I like I was actually gonna point that out also kasi diba the first thing he does is to listen yeah. to music so that sets the mood so parang uh, connecting to how to cope also with the ECQ, diba? Parang we try, let's try to disconnect from the noise, mm-hmm. from everything. Mm. Yeah. And then let's add music to our life. So yeah. by setting the tone with whatever playlist it is na gusto mo, diba? Parang if you want, like, like pag working out, if gusto mo sobrang pumped ka, diba? You play upbeat music, ganyan. Right, um, right. Mga bigyan sa iba to? <laughs> Pwede. Pwede. Kanya-kanya talaga, Ralph. No? Kasi yung iba naman, nagme-meditate. Yes. Iba nag-yoga, mindsetting. Yeah. Surely, gusto ko lang malaman kasi I think interested malaman ng mga tao. Ano yung mga top two songs or top two uh, playlists na pinakinggan ninyo sa Spotify, guys? At least dalawa lang. Para, Uh-oh. I think people are interested to know. How about you, Jay? Okay, so, my number one is motivation. 
Ah, so, motivation. Spotify weird enough. Mer- meron siyang parang yung mga motivation na papakinggan natin sa YouTube. Yes. Who is hey? Oo. And then, yung isa pa is Hillsong. Palipat-lipat lang talaga ako sa dalawang yun. Ano ako? God-fearing oh, talaga no. to si Jay. Nako, oh. talaga. Good quality na guys. Um, how about you, Erica? <laughs> ano yung mga pinakikigan mo? I listen to, when I wanna feel relaxed, I listen to lo-fi music. Yeah. Oh, I love lo-fi. Yes. Uh, and also, when I wanna be, ano ba? I wanna be more active. I listen to, and um, um, inspired as well, I listen to pop Christian music. Oh, so, my, so my daughter sometimes say, ha, is that, parang pag may mga rap, rap yung mga music, ha, is that the Christian music? Sabi ko, yeah, Christian music is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, right. diba? Para, para, parang cool pa rin, tapos is Christian, edi two in one, nakakatuwa. Mm-hmm. I like that. Guys, si Daniel, si Coach Dan, nag-share, nag-question. Oh. How do you salvage a day that was unproductive? Do you squeeze in everything the last few hours or just strong the next day? Oh, that's Start a very good question. Kasi parang lahat ata oh. tayo na experience yan. Like, siguro kung meron ka pang mga tasks na kailangan mo pang gawin, oh. are you doing it in this today? Kasi kailangan, makuha ko talaga yung goal ko, kaya kailangan matapos na kahit wala ka talagang energy or you're gonna do it or parang you're gonna add it na lang the next day. So yung na-mention kanina, di ba, um, for example, the first thing in, the first thing para magkaroon tayo ng extra motivation is if we or this pan in a way na discuss tayo sa sarili natin or na feel natin na guilty so parang nag nagta-translate siya into extra energy for the next day yung frustration na parang ay mm. nakakapon so if meron kang parang achiever mindset or kung meron kang parang uh, gusto mo lang talaga mag-improve yung frustration na yun will lead you to something better will lead you to more yes. growth ah uh, sige kailangan ko tapusin to bawi 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 so yung mindset talaga na parang gusto mo pa rin bumawi. Yun ang importante. Wow, that's so yeah. nice. And I also think it's important to that's note true. to note parang bakit hindi mo nagawa yung kailangan Task. mo gawin. Uh-huh. Yeah, what what hindered you from doing it? Mm-hmm. Para whatever whether kung if it's just like a it's a distraction lang taga, talaga totally then don't Guys, eliminate niyo na yung distraction na yun para hindi na maulit. But if it's like, if it's kasi pagod ka or like you don't really feel so well that day or mm-hmm. whatever, I guess you'd be able to give yourself, baka hindi ka naman din nag-schedule ng break for yourself. Yeah. Or, 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 parang or, being or, hard to yourself then. Yeah, Uh-oh. so forgive yourself, move on, and then yeah. you know, yun nga, like apply what Jay said. Ang yun lang yung parating na ginagawa ni Erica is parati may self assessment hmm. as in what didn't work hindi lang yung mga work, I like that work um hindi lang yung para sa hindi mo nagawa tayos and I think that plays a very part in productivity oh may nagsasarili talaga siya ah project Now we can hear you. Ano ko, you know. Before that though, yeah. um ano Shirley, mm. Shirley no wala din ba ako Shirley? Ayun, nandito ka na. Ano ba? Shirley, oh ano yung ano? <laughs> Shirley, can you recognize our viewers? Andito sila ngayon, natutuwa ako. Hi Ia, hi Ralph Ligon. Oh, andito sila si ngayon. Friend. Si Ron, yeah. Veronica, Ralph. Hello, hello. Nakakatuwa kayo, kinikilig daw sila. Oh my god, sa atin ba Ralph? Asa, di, 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 di ata kami ano, ano kasi parang sabi guys, ni Adeline Vine kitang kita ko yung kilig mo kitang kita daw nila sa akin yung kilig ko actually yung last time na nagkagantong oh, kilig ako oh. ano pa to eh Sharon tsaka Gabby Conception ang duma <laughs> <laughs> hindi ka man ang duma na Catherine oh, Bernardo at saka oh. but wait Rob just to add lang na sinabi ni Erica tsaka ni Jaina it's very important that you also do self-assessment baka kasi yung mga list mo naman it's something that you're beating up yourself so much na talagang kahit sino wala talagang makakatapos ng list mo na yon. so <laughs> aside from assessing yourself you also have to assess then the list ano bang kinaka ano bang parang kinaka-rush mo no 
Kasi karamihan sa atin, di ba, na pagka mga business owners, ay shit, kailangan ko na matapos yung business plan na to, kailangan matapos ko din yung marketing plan, kailangan matapos ko rin yung human resources plan. So, all the plan tapos in one day lang. So, you also have to reassess then the list. And also, your capability on how would you be able to finish all the plans. So, yun lang naman yung gusto kong i-add. So, moving on, ayan. Ang dami nating mga viewers. Mag-hello naman kayo, Jay and Erica. Ayan. Ayan. May, may, may anak kayong fans club, guys. Oo. Do you also oh, consider... Oh. Charot! Per <laughs> 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 feeling ko ano. Guys, di, di sila, di na sila mag-guess sa atin, Shirley. Sabi nyo lang, oh, na, na, kami yata dito na violate kami. <laughs> Ayan, ang dami na rin nag -hi. Aya is also watching. Hi, Aya. And Mac Villera. Hello, hello. So, just keep on watching. So, kung, ma kung maganda yung nakikita nyo dito sa screen, can you please just press the heart button? Like, what we are feeling right now, we're also inspired by these two millennials that's really, you know, doing all the hazards. Sorry, guys. Yeah, naglalaro lang tayo. Just in case guys, kinikilig kayo, please put as a heart, yun niya, a heart emoticon in the comment section. Lala lang ha, guys, be ano lang, be cool, be chill lang. Ano oh. lang, di na lang natin yung ano, baka may napupulsohan ng ating mga uh, madlang oh people. Oh my God, Rag, 1,000 heart emoticons. Ay, grabe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grabe para malusanap support. lang tayo. Ay, oh. ang daming hearts, oh, wow. O oh, ba nga, sabi ko sa'yo, I told you. Manap Tingnan nyo guys. Tayo. 13,458. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Ang haba na ng reach natin. Okay. <laughs> Hindi na ito about productivity, about uh -oh. dating na tayo. Go back. Go back. Um, guys. Go back. Uh -oh. Let's have any siguro, Ralph. Baka yung mga life hacks okay, let's that go you back. can recommend. Oo. Uh -oh. Yes. Uh -oh. For example, may senior si, you know, si Jay before about, okay, if you want to lessen your exposure, kasi talaga social media could be very, very, such, such mm. a big distraction at times. No? If hindi siya helpful, pwede siya, ano, uh, kung nag-scroll ka na lang mindlessly, now it's a distraction. May ginawa ka about removing the feeds in your browser. Paano yun? So, ipo-plug in ko lang, na joke lang. So, <laughs> yung Google Chrome extension ako nakita the other day na nirecommend ng friend ko, ano siya, it's called Newsfeed Eradicator. Oh. So, yung Newsfeed Eradicator, tatanggalin talaga niya yung newsfeed mo. Tapos, Kasi wala talaga siyang ititira sa'yo. Like, hindi ka talaga pwede mamili. Ititira na lang na yung quote. Magbibigay lang siya ng quote. So, every time you go back to your home uh, newsfeed, yun na lang makikita mo. Plus, may inspire ka pa. Tapos, oh. Oh. <laughs> so, that's one thing that we can do. News, uh, sorry, Newsfeed Eradicator. Newsfeed Eradicator. Okay, noted, noted. Um, how about you, Erica? Anong parang ano mo, life hack na you can share to us or productivity hmm. hack? I guess one very practical um, hack I can share with you guys because um, with regards to cleanliness or organization in your area, di ba pag makalat yung area mo, hindi inspired ka ba mag-work? <laughs> di ba? Para, yeah. uh, or gusto mo na ba siyang galawin, linisin, ganyan. So, for me, parang you can set um, for those na ayaw na ayaw talagang maglipid, <laughs> and I know mayroong mga taong ganyan, yes. but try to set a timer on your phone kahit 10 minutes lang a day, and then you, within the 10 minutes, parang what you do lang is to pick up the dirty clothes or clean up your desk or whatever it is, and then once 10, 10 minutes is up na, parang you can stop na. But usually, what happens is parang you trick your mind into... Um, pag nag-start ka na kasi, parang you wanna keep going, di ba? So parang you have that momentum na and then you just, sometimes you want to, oh, sige, extend mo ulit isa pang 10 minutes. And then eventually you'll realize, oh, nalinis mo na yung buong kwarto mo. So parang that I guess so that's one. And if you don't extend, that's fine. You do it again tomorrow. Kasi at mm -hmm. least, di ba? There's progress in your area, in your space, whatever it is na gusto mong i-clean. Yeah, one, one, one step at a time. That's true, Erica. No, for example, ako, when I wake up, if I go to, if I just want to stretch, pero hindi ka ganahan ng stretch. What you do, what I do is I wear a mirror rubber shoes, mm -hmm. just to get started. And then, okay, naka shoes na ako, eh. so I will go do the the physical activity. So basically, sometimes if you kung natatakot ano ka kung uh, na impede ka because of the gravity of the chore, 
just start the small step. Just yeah. wear your shoes or yeah. maybe just go outside. Yeah. Just maybe just do five six, ano, uh, push-ups. Then yeah. later on, gaganahan ka na niya. That's a good enough. Ako naman, what I do is usually, I just take a bath. Pinsa kailangan mo lang ng water and ma-refresh lang yung pakiramdam mo. Then parang pag na-restart ka na, okay, let's go, let's do it. Ah, yan ang beauty hack kaya ni Shirley. Ah, sige, pag-isi ko sa umaga, mm. maliligo na agad. Hindi ka kaagad. Para kasing <laughs> fresh ni Shirley. Okay. Yes, Jay? Magandang <laughs> advice. Oh, Jay, we can't hear you that much. It's not that clear. Sorry, sorry. Hello, okay. Hello. So, ang dami nating mga taga-NBU and dito ngayon, let's say hi to Ian, Charles, Leslie, Ian, Dalangin, Mariel. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Ayan. Sabi dito ni eh, meron bang fake news feed eradicator? <laughs> Pwede, di ba? Oo. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's search Sino on Google. Sino po nag-up ng ano na yan, ng app na yan. I will yes. support <laughs> Okay, guys, ito ha. Let's, ano, guys, if you're watching this, at saka you, uh, let's make, and I think one thing na I've learned from this is, you're making your day count. You know, basically, yeah. yung ginagawa ninyo, just want this day na hindi siya masayang. So, if you guys are watching, please put in the comment section, I'll make my day count. Okay? So, lahat tayo, put that in the comment section, I'll make my day count. Okay? So, uh, guys, ito. What I, ang dami ko natutunan sa inyo, actually, I'm going to apply what I've learned from you guys. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make my day two days in one. Uh, I'm also, what I've learned from Eric because I'm mean, gonna improve my surrounding and then start right away. Yeah. No? Yeah. So, another question, guys. When it comes to, ano, when it comes naman to fitness, you guys are, uh, you, look, you look, ano, you look, you guys look fit. Mm-hmm. And ako, I'm building na my habit on fitness. Uh, what do you guys do? Mas simple things that we can do at home para to have that habit of of staying fit. Or di naman yan extreme product, ano no? Extreme agad, agad. Um, fitness routine. Mm-hmm. Pero yung mga simple hack lang to get fit sa bahay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, number one tip para maging fit is di ba usually, ito ah, hindi siya sa exercise wise pero in terms of eating wise, Hmm. Sip, parang may times na gusto lang natin mag-binge eat. Sometimes gusto natin mag-chips lang, gusto natin mag-chocolate lang. May hack ako doon na get, kung gusto mo lang try mo ng chocolate or maybe bread, kagat ka ng isang bread and then kuha ka ng dalawa or isang glass ng water. Ubusin mo yun. Stricking <laughs> 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 your mind to thinking na madami ka nang nakain. And then, pagating naman din sa exercise, for those who can run, I think it's okay then to set na at least 5 minutes or 10 minutes sa na yun nga, todo run lang din. And in terms of, ano pa bang, uh, like, ano bang klaseng fitness hacks mo pwede? Uh, <laughs> Eric ka naman habang nag-iisip ako. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Tutulungan <laughs> tama yan, guys. Tutulungan tayo. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, no, I guess, for me, parang, uh, it's important to, um, with regards to working out, uh, pero it, it, it has, you have to determine first your most productive hours. Like, if you're a morning person, an afternoon person, an evening person, and then, parang, you schedule the things that you have to do within that time na you're most productive. Mm-hmm. And for me, honestly, um, I'm an evening person, and afternoon, basta anything after lunch. <laughs> Tapos, oh. um, my workout really happens, my, my work happens in the afternoon, and then my workout happens in the evening. So really, it's um around 10, 11. And then after that kasi, I work pa ulit until around mga 2 o'clock. And then after that, I sleep. I sleep. The important thing for me is I get um 8, 8 hours, 7, 8 hours of sleep. Yeah, and so that gets me recharged. That gets me um going. So workout for I think workout is really really important. Cause it's part of ano eh, It's part of taking care of yourself. It's part of maintaining yourself. Cause deba like um like a machine. Kanya diba if a machine is broken or like may part siya na sira, diba it won't be as effective because it's going to put in more effort pero it produces less results. So just like our bodies, think of our bodies as a machine. So if you don't take care of it, if you don't nourish it, 
ba? Diba? Well enough. If we don't maintain ourselves, then hindi rin tayo magiging productive and we'll be putting more effort but less output. And plus lang din doon kasi usually, di ba, may mga tao, focus sila parati on time management. Gusto ko mag-focus ng time management, time management, paano ko ayusin anong 100, to do, 100 things sa to-do list ko. But the question is, kung wala kang energy to do all of those things. Yeah, agree. <laughs> so, that's the thing. You need to really maximize yung energy mo. And the only way para ma-maximize yung energy is if you do two things, which is, yun, eat right, eat, ve- eat vegetables, less carbs, and number two is to always, you know, be active, no matter what kind of exercise. Basta, napupush nyo, on, napupush nyo pa yung limits nyo. Because if you are increasing your capability to do work, you're increasing your energy to, to do a lot more things within the day. So it goes back to the concept of how to do two things, like how to do uh, two days in one day. If you have like two days worth of energy for one day. That's true. I, I like yeah, that. Like that. diet is important. No? Surely, may tanong ata si, you know, si um, Daniel. Oh, sabi niya, do you guys have planners daw ba? And then, how do you maximize your planners? Yeah. Planners. For me, I have my planners very basic. Actually, kahit notebook nga lang siya. <laughs> and then, kasi I, yun nga, um, part of um, building a system is um, doing things that, incorporating things that works for you. So, I like things, I like to keep things as simple as possible. I don't I like that. Complications. Yeah, that's pag complex, true. pag masyadong magulo, mas nahihirapan din ako to process. To so organize, yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. So, yun. So, for me, my planner would be like, one, two, three. Ano lang yung kailangan ko gawin. And then, um, that's it. Kahit nga notes lang sa phone ko and yeah. calendar, I, I would be able to make do with that. Basta as long like- as I'm able to do the things I'm supposed to do. I like your answer, no? Uh, uh, use, do what works for you. Kasi tayo, paminsan, masyado tayo yung na-influence sa iba. That's true. Akala, gumawa ka ng box scheduling or gumawa ka ng ganito mga uh, strategies. Pero sometimes it doesn't work for us. Nahihirapan That's lang true. tayo. We're just pressuring mm-hmm. ourselves. Do what works for you that helps arrange your day. That's the point naman talaga of planning, eh. Diba? And make it That's simple, really good, Erica. Oh, uh, and, and really mm-hmm. make it simple. True, true. <laughs> Tapos, yung planner na yun, nahihirapan ako dalhin. So, tama din si Eric, ano pa, what works for you. So, na-realize ko, as long as meron akong sheet of paper na kinukuha ko or ginagawa ko, may, yung sheet of paper na yun, may schedule na siya, what I have to do, at may time schedule na siya. So, planner-wise versus yung sheet of paper na yun, sabi ko, ito na nga lang, at least, natatadal ako sa pocket ko, nakahit sa wallet ko. So, tama, whatever system works for you. Ikaw din magde-develop niya. So, always remember, I said it also dun sa la- webinar last week, K-I-S-S. Kung nakinig kayo, ano yun? Mm. <laughs> Alam ko! <laughs> Bakit, ba- sino gusto mo i-K-I-S-S, Eric? <laughs> Joke lang. I get it, I get it. It's it. Go, Ralph! Keep it simple, stupid. Ayan. So, that's true, no? Kasi kailangan, it's easy for you to understand. That's true, that's true. And then siguro, wag na lang din talaga magpadala. Like, kung may nakita kang yung mga tao na ito super sikat na planner to, gusto ko magkaroon din ako nito, what if hindi naman pala talaga hindi mag-work sa'yo? And some of the people talagang, inom talaga sila ng kape, talaga parang magkaroon lang ng ganong planner, but at the end of, di ba? And you spend a lot of money for that. Nakailang taon na akong ganyan. Oo, oh, oh, tapos <laughs> makikita mo siya, isa lang din siyang mga kalat sa sa mesa mo na hindi mo naman talaga sinusulatan. So, yeah, even a piece of paper, I also do that. O kaya sa phone mo, tama din yon. So, okay. basta importante lang doon, you really have to know yourself kung ano mag-work for you. Ito, grabe, surely ang dami kong i-apply ngayon right after mm-hmm. this interview. Uh, okay. At saka today, I want to make today count. I'm gonna be productive. I'm, uh, I'm gonna use what I learned from them. We only have six minutes left, guys. And mm-hmm. we're gonna ask you two last questions. Surely, do you have one question you wanna add? Uh, it's okay. We can go on to the, to the last two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Tanong ko sa inyo, um, what if I feel guilty na, yun nga, parang napag-usapan na ito kanina, no? Na uh, nagigilty sila tapos sisimulan nila the next day. 
Paminsan kasi nag-judge tayo, we were judging ourselves. Tell us, what do you do when you feel that way? Okay. Erika muna? Erika. <laughs> Haters gone hate. De joke lang. <laughs> ne, for me, if you feel, yun nga, parang part of um, being productive also is to take care of yourself. So if you feel guilty on anything that is, parang forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and then move on. And then parang be sure na lang na the next thing that you're gonna... That's why evaluation is important. Para... Pero depende rin sa'yo eh. Do you wanna stay there ba? Yun yung number one eh. Gusto mo ba ganyan ka na lang forever? Kasi if if that's what you want, if you wanna stay there, if you don't wanna learn something today, then who am I to tell you to do these things? Right? So if you want to be like that, Edi, okay, fine. Stay there. Yeah. Every, diba? Until you're ready. Uh-oh. Yeah, until you're ready or until you, whenever you want. That's why mm-hmm. para it's important to just really have that mindset na I don't want to stay this way. I want to move on from this. I want to learn something. But it should be really coming from within, Erica, diba? Yes, yes exactly. Whatever pa sasabihin ng ibang tao, yeah. whatever other people say, if that's not what you believe in, if that's not what you want, hindi siya mangyayari. It has to start with you. Yeah. I like that. I'm just gonna emphasize that, uh, Shirley, how what she said is very powerful because we're given a man free will. Eh. We gave, yeah. We're given a gift of free will. Whatever you do, you can do it. No? As long as it's uh, abiding the law. Yeah. Pero, for example, if hindi ka magtatrabay, if you're not gonna improve your day, okay lang. If you're gonna improve your day, okay lang din. Pero mm-hmm. what happens as a consequence, ikaw ang yes, mag- suffer oh. oh. That's right. That's, that's right. so good. How about you, Jay? Sa akin, I always have that mindset that I would never compete with anyone else. Mm. No, I would wow. go with this with myself. And if I think I didn't do well yesterday, yun nga, assess ko din what I did wrong. And to forgive ko pa naman sa ilik ko. And I still try to do the best I can. Yun lang naman talaga. There would be days na sabang nasa dip ka. Yeah. Hindi ba patawarin sa sarili mo? You just do your best. And as long as you do your best for you, alam mo nang may progress ka. And remember, progress equals happiness. Yun o, oh, happiness. I Pero like that. Doon talaga, ano? Doon talaga oh, tayo laging gumabagsak. Magandang ano yun. Magandang uh, motivation. Or oh. motivation, no? Um, happiness. Okay. You guys are an inspiration, sabi nga ni Koy. Thank you, Koy. Thanks for watching. Hi, June. Hi, Prince. Hi, Glessy. Hi, Glessy. Happy Glessy. anniversary, guys. Uh, and I hope Glessy is well now. Get well soon, Glessy. Oh, Don't work please, too please, much. Please. Honor your body by resting. I'm ano, ah, saludo ako sa kanya kasi very productive woman and was yeah. she's part of the front line no? because of her drug uh, business. Company. <laughs> Pharmacy, right? Pharmacy. <laughs> okay. So, that's more discreet. <laughs> okay. Guys, I know we only have one last question. So, if you guys are enjoying this topic, please uh, push again the heart button. May lumili kami sa heart ngayon, guys. I'm sorry about yes, that. Yes, actually, it's Valentine's talaga. Oo, uh, oh, nadali kami kasi, mm-hmm. ano, because of the COVID. <laughs> Sinisi <laughs> lahat sa COVID. Please push the button. Uh, please push the heart button. Okay, mm-hmm. shout out po. Hi, Koy Mendoza. Okay, guys, last question. Um, People now are pumped up. They're empowered. They're in- they're equipped. Thank you for your ideas. Thank you for your suggestions. What can I do now? So today, oh, sige, I'm gonna improve my day. I'm gonna make this day Uh-oh. count. Any last words? I decided. What can I do now? Uh, let's start with Erica. Hmm. Okay. What do I want to do now? Okay. Um. Maybe number one. Um. How do you want to be spending your time? Na? Do you want to learn something? Determine it is that you want to do with that time. So, do you want to um, learn something? Do you want to um, clean your house? Do you want to do household chores? Number one is basta determine it is what you want to do moving forward. And then, yun nga, plan it out. You plan it out. And then, yeah, I guess parang that's very, it, it sounds very basic. I know, paulit-ulit kami. But, guys, if you don't, apply these things. Parang these are basic principles but if you don't apply it, wala lang siya. It will be put to waste. Okay. Buti may time ako mag-isip. Oh, Erica saves you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, say thank you, Erica. Yung loko natin itong dalawang to eh. Okay, go, Jay. Matawa, nag-iisip pa rin ako. Okay, Joe. So, I think the pinaka best thing na pwedeng advice ng BI is if you are struggling to like finish a task or start a task or do a task, don't be, ano, um, I think it's best that you can also get external motivation. Right? Mm. So, yun yung reason bakit. Ito talaga yung pinaka number one tip of the day ko. Headphones or earphones and then listen to something very inspirational, motivational, and that will get you, you know, the energy you need, the motivation you need to start planning. Yun talaga eh. Once na makuha na yun, at least, yun talaga. Ito talaga yung biggest tip ko. Kaya makikita nyo, parati ko hawak to or song to. It's because of that. Always set the tone, set the mood for the day. And then motivation comes after action. Find an inspiration for you to be pumped. Mm, as in, iset mo talaga yung tone ng katawan mo. So have, you found, have you found one, Jay? I'm looking. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but that's very important. You really have to find something that keeps you moving and that keeps you going. That's right. Okay, we're we're gonna wrap this up, no? Uh, thank you very much for that, yeah. guys. If you guys are enjoying this, please say thank you to Erica and, and of Jay. course Jay uh, for such a uh, no, such a uh, productive <laughs> productive conversation yes. that we had Jayka. together. Thank you, Jayka. Oh, oh. oh, thank you, guys. Ah, uh. so and dami ko na. Jayka shipper na. Oh, oh, Jayka. Oh, oh, Jayka. Oh, oh, Jayka. Oh, so yeah, kung gusto niya, gusto niya first yung hashtag Jake. Can you guys put in the comment section? Joke lang to guys ha. Uh, ang dami ko na natunan, ano, uh, Shirley. Yeah, what did you learn, too. Shirley, from this conversation? From this episode? And it's, it, it's really more of a eh, productivity kasi it should not be defined by by other people rather than yourself. You have to define it sa sarili mo. Ano ba yung productivity sa'yo? And I think it really comes from self-awareness pa rin. Kasi kahit gaano karaming hacks, kahit gaano karaming tips ang ibibigay natin sa mga tao, if you are not really aware bakit number one kailangan mo maging productive or wala kang inspiration to really, to really move so there will always be like sobrang magiging useless lang sila so for me it's really more of yun clearing your mind then be physically fit as well to keep to have your energy to keep moving what's very important is don't beat uh, don't beat yourself up yeah that's very important for me ito yung mga natutunan ko sa inyo and of course Huwag ka magpa-pressure sa iba. Kung sila besh, sobrang pawis na pawis na sila in terms of, you know, moving and grooving. Okay lang yan. Uh, naniniwala pa rin ako na darating yung time mo na marirealize mo na kailangan mo maging healthy. But I hope that time, it's not too late for you. And also, yun, parang it's applicable naman to anything that you really want to do. So, become aware of yourself. You know, naman me, I'm always on the mental side. So, yeah. Yes. Have a uh, very like good that. mental health. Because I think that's very important. Lalo na sa panahon na to na we are really physically restrained to our house. So whatever you're going to put into your mind, it will just show up. So it's very important that you're going to keep your mind very healthy. Oh, I love that. I love that. Keep yourself healthy. Keep yourself productive. But however you view productivity, because productivity... Uh, it is defined differently by uh, one, uh, by, by everyone. So, um, as long as you guys make this day count, I think that's really uh, what I want to uh, uh, emphasize. Today is another day that was given to you. It's a gift. Even though it's quarantine and you have all the reasons to be distracted, you have all the reasons to lie down, and that's okay. There's no judgment. Yeah. What we're asking is, maybe God gave you this time to reflect, to do something about today that you could maybe connect with yourself, with your loved ones, maybe uh, review your life or do uh, write that project, uh, write that book that you wanted to write, or maybe uh, start that project you've always wanted to start. This is a great opportunity for every one of us. If you're, if you're, if you're not suffering with anything, this is a great opportunity for us to make this day matter. There you go, guys. I love this conversation. Yeah. No, congratulations, Erica Thank you and so Jay. Thank so much, Jayka. Oh, uh, Erica, people is spread. Ano no? Um, ang ganda ng mga products mo, and people wants to connect to you. How can they find you? Yeah, it's summertime. They yeah, can summertime find- after ECQ. <laughs> they can find my um business at 
uh, Facebook, Aka Swimwear, or the website, aka.ph. That's E-I-K-A dot P-H. Ayun, that's it. And I've also some ano rin, di ba? In malls. Yeah, we have one in oh. BF Paranaque, pero it's closed. <laughs> ah, yeah. On May, on May. Maybe after ECQ. Yeah, pwede. Mm. Yeah. Ayun. How about you, Jay? J-E-I-K-A ba? Hindi ba J? Ay, sorry. E-I-K-A. Okay, so. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. <laughs> okay. okay. Finish talaga. Okay, how about you, Jay? Mm. So, I'm starting, <laughs> nagsimula ako ng Facebook page for, yun nga, personal branding then. So, you wow. guys, Jay Asmine. And then, or Jay Asmine's Motivation. So wow. Wow. So good. Oh, pwede ko rin ba i-plug yung sa akin? <laughs> sure, go, go, go. Oh, yes, plug. <laughs> Erica Rodica, pero maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yes, guys, so, ito ha. Ayusin ko pa the show. <laughs> oh, hayaan na rin sila dalawa, Shirley. Sige lang, oh, go oh, lang, guys. Okay lang kayo dyan. Nagpapaalam na tayo sa viewer. Kento lang kayo. <laughs> okay, guys, ito. If you guys... For millennials and especially and for zennials, it's a perfect you know time to connect also to people like this. Very yes. productive, very you know at their young age, na Very na approachable. Mga, and very uh-huh. approachable. Marami ka matutunan sa kanila. Connect to them, guys, if you have the opportunity. So that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching this episode. I've learned a lot, and I hope that you guys will um, join us for the next episode yeah. tomorrow. So that we, would be. Tomorrow after is... After Holy oh, Week. Oh, after Holy Week na. Yes. Because tomorrow is Monday, Thursday. Yes. So, so, we're gonna resume na next Monday. We're gonna resume next week and we'll see you next week for another week of amazing ideas and insights you can apply to your life during this quarantine yeah. season. Thank you very much, guys. Bye! Stay safe and be Stay healthy, safe. everyone. Bye!